Good morning guys, happy Monday. I am kicking off the vlog. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I actually vlogged a little bit of my weekend. It was Pride in LA. I had like a nice spa day yesterday. It was super fun. So I vlogged a bit of it for you guys. So I will put that in now, my little weekend highlights. Good morning. I am not well. Oh my God, you guys. Hello, I look like a booger. <laughs> we are reunited. What's up? Are you filming like a... I'm filming my own documentary. <laughs> I have to tell you what I'm filming. All right, hi guys. So last time I talked to you, I was going over to bright, to bright, to bright. I was on my way to training. I died. I am so sore now. It was such a hard workout, but I am back at the office. As you can tell, I got ready. I've been getting some work and email stuff done. Eli and I are about to start filming. I just made some lunch. Today we are working on a new video and then we have some meetings with like my YouTube partner manager and my manager later. So we're gonna get a lot of stuff done, but I wanted to check in. I made my normal salad with cucumbers, tomatoes, chicken, lettuce, sriracha, and avocado. Per usual. An avocado. An avocado. I put my sticker that I got from Haley on my Hydro Flask. Isn't she cute? All right, I'm gonna eat. I have to rush because we got a lot to do and I'll see you guys later. Woo. There's Eli. Oh, <laughs> you guys, look who's here. Oh my God. Camille, Cammy. Hi, kids. Do you wanna go outside on the patio? Look it. You wanna bask in this skirt? Okay. Mom said no, sorry. You yeah. <laughs> just stay inside. Yo, what's Good. You've been on the vlog. Why are you alive? We just had the same I see exact you every idea. Every single day. We're sad. We remember, are sad. Remember, um, Thursday when I was like, oh my god, I'm not gonna see you till Saturday, and literally, and then we saw each other yesterday. Like literally in twelve, within twelve hours. Yeah, exactly. Same. Today is Pride Festival in WeHo in LA. It's like LA Pride, and Alicia and I are actually presenting an award during the festival. We love an ally. Uh, a musical. Oh, and I'm the word right. But as allies, we're honored to be included. We're honored. We are so excited. But I figured I need to do my makeup still. She needs to get ready. I just did my hair this morning. I just curled it. And I'm letting it kind of sit in like the tighter curls. Include you guys. I feel like people would like that. So let me set you up. Get ready. That looks good too. Okay, guys. You're all set up. We're gonna play some music. We have to get ready in less than half an hour. Which normally I take a long time to do my makeup, so we got this. I actually wanna know how long it takes me to do a full face. I think I've gotten it down to like under 15 with like lashes and everything. Yeah, you're really good. We're gonna see, but we're gonna speed through this and you can watch us get ready. Woo! Okay, now I play the Pride playlist. Oh so my god, yay! Oh yeah. I'm every woman. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, here we go. I want to see how long. I gave into the fire. I know I should have fought. I, need I don't feel bad now. 12 minutes is so quick. Mascara and lip gloss. I'm gonna finish my face. Sometimes items. it takes me 12 minutes just to put lashes on. <laughs> is it really? You know, no, mine, mine aren't fully dry yet. It's okay. Well, it feels like 12 minutes. You know what I've learned though? I learned to multitask by like, I put the glue on while I'm doing my eyeliner so it's getting tacky while I do mm, that. That's smart, that's smart. I'm gonna do rhinestones now, but full face done in about 12. Not too shabby. Just please do a. Oh, this song is so good. I love Lord. You guys, Daisy's making Loach pick out each toy to tell her which one she wants. This one? <laughs> She's me as a dog. I can't with her. I don't think 
you even know what's in there, dude? This one. Putting rhinestones on with eyelash glue. All right, guys, here is the final look. I'm wearing my shoes that I got from Princess Polly. They're from, I forget what the brand is, but they're really comfy. Topshop, my bikini bottoms that I'm wearing underneath are from Kulani. Bikini, but you can't really see them. And then the skirt, I actually bought to wear to Coachella this year, but it came in really late, so I'm wearing it now. I got it from some website from China, and it's very cute, and I like it a lot. Glitter, as you guys saw, we did the rhinestones and the pink. We got the pink on the shoulders. I love, let's go see what low she's wearing. Hmm, I wonder what Alicia's wearing. Did you say Alicia? I did say Alicia. <laughs> I was like, oh God. Here's what we're wearing, top meshki, thanks Rem. No, no, um, I am oh, Gia. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and action. Top, I am Gia, fits like a glove. <laughs> yeah. um, thank you, Jesse Page, for the Tarte collaboration because now I have this really cute rainbow fanny pack Shout to wear. Out. I have your used your palette on the oh, eyes. Oh yeah, let's get a look at the eyes. We wow. like added, I know. <laughs> Are a gold, a goldie, a goldie, a goldie, yeah, or whatever. And then yeah, my shoes, I don't know where they're from, but they're really cute. They're cute, they look comfy too. Yours look like the like short version of mine. I mean, kind of, yeah. Yay. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, you're bringing it. I'm bringing bring it. it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna jump in the car now. I'm gonna switch to the other vlog camera and we're gonna vlog Pride, and I'm so excited. So let's go. Yay! Pride! Love is love! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this bathroom has like insanely nice, even soft lighting. Look at this like floor length mirror. Wow. Um. Hello, we finished lunch. We're with Uran. Hi, Uran. Hello, I'm all you queen. little gays watching. <laughs> Got the wristband. There's a Ferris wheel. This is the first time I've ever seen Pride. Yay! Yay! She's cute. It smells like churros, and I'm gonna get hit by a fire truck. Say hi to the vlog. I vlog. Uh, happy, pride. happy pride. I want to build a heat with somebody. Is this our first time? Yeah, this is their first time in pride. Give them a little round of applause. You guys, some guy gave me this coupon for a free dessert in creation, so I walked in here. I'm gonna get me a free dessert and a water bottle, but also a free dessert. All right, I'm getting chocolate pudding and a lemon water. This is great. Hey. For lemon, I got my crystalline Tito's. We have arrived. Hello all, we had a wonderful spa experience. Hey guys. Beautiful. I feel very zen. Now we're having salads. The most LA salad. I hate this so Happy much. Happy Pride, everyone. Happy Pride, yay, salad. Everybody, I'm stressed that these are, this is fashion forward right now. All right, guys, I'm almost out of all of my bath bombs, so we're here to replenish. I'm gonna get so many that I've never tried before. There's so many fun ones. This is my favorite bubble bar ever, the comforter one. I love this bath bomb. But this little kitty one. So cute. Oh my god, this eggplant. I tried this one, it's so funny. Everybody ready? We're ready, yeah, we're ready. Me. Okay. Oh my god. You guys, yeah, we're watching books, and right? Biggest critic, Neil, wow. research Look at this popcorn penny. that I got. It's half with eight less vanilla hours kettle corn, half regular. Breakfast. <laughs> She's nailing it. 10 out of 10. Research this. <laughs> And we're back, so it's Monday morning. We are here, we are filming today. We've got a lot of stuff to do. I wanna do a cooking with Remy for you guys. <laughs> Daisy's just sitting there like this. Well, Sarah, Eli, and I are just all working. <laughs> Look at her. So yeah, Eli and I are filming in a little bit. We're gonna start right now, and it's gonna be a really good video. And uh, that's just how I wanted to say. Oh wait, what? So yeah, we've got filming stuff to do. I'll keep you guys updated along the way, but we're going to get to work, and I'll catch you very soon. Hey guys, hey guys. so. <laughs> Hate you. <laughs> Wait, I want to show them my new top for my new hydro flask. So I just put a new top on my hydro flask. This actually is not the hydro, like the bottle itself is hydro flask, but the like cap to it is not because hydro flask does not make one of these. How many times can I say hydro flask in this <laughs> sentence? My God. I was doing some research online and I'm a huge fan of the hydro flask straw lid, but unfortunately I read that actually using a straw super often can lead to you bloating, which 
makes sense you're ingesting a lot of air so I found this lid online again it's not from the hydro flask brand because they have like the normal like big screw on top which I've tried to use before the one that just like comes with the bottles and it is so awful to like try and use that just for drinking like normal water whatever but especially imagine being like in a workout class and trying to like do it while moving you're like it just ends up everywhere so I found this guy online it's like for a different brand I don't even know what brand it is but it is like a little spigot mouth top thing and it helps you ingest less air so I'll leave that link down below if you guys want but right now I wanted to share with you guys a very exciting package that I got from my favorite brand a ton of you guys ask me what pre-workout I use what like protein powders I use all that sort of stuff I found out about a brand from my friend Whitney Simmons she uses them religiously and I started using them and I'm obsessed and I'm really really excited because I'm actually working with them now so if you guys ever want to order anything please feel free to use my code or use my link I'll leave the link down below for you guys and you can shop through there and then that helps me out but of course if you don't want to use mine if you want to use Whitney's, if you just want to shop normally, please feel free. No pressure at all. But a ton of you guys always ask me what I'm using, and I genuinely use their pre-workout pretty much every time I work out for the most part. So, yeah, I thought I'd share with you guys. I got a box of stuff, so I want to do a little unboxing. Also, it's free shipping over $50. So if you guys use that, use my code, then you'll get a good deal. Okay, we're going to start with the protein powders. I got some new flavors here. I used their chocolate peanut butter brownie one this morning. That one's really good. My favorite is the confetti cake. And then there are a few that I haven't tried that they just restocked, so I really wanted to grab them. This one is the chocolate flavor, which I am always a chocolate protein shake kind of gal, so I always keep like tons of different chocolates on me. Never tried the Alani new one, so I'm excited about that. Next up, we have another peanut butter brownie. This is the one that I used this morning. It is seriously so good. If you like Reese's peanut butter cup, so you'll like that. Next up, we have the collagen hyaluronic acids. This is a massive tub of collagen, but this is really good, obviously, for your skin, and it's so good for you overall. So this is like the biggest tub of collagen I've ever seen. Next up, we have my favorite products ever. This is their pre-workout. My absolute favorite, 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 favorite one is the pink guava. Seriously, so good. This one is the Hawaiian shaved ice, which is so yummy. If you like coconut and you like like a tropical flavor, this one's really good. And then this one, they just got back in stock, so I was so excited. This is Aloha pineapple. I've actually never tried this one because every time I've wanted it, it's been sold out. My favorite thing about Alani New is that all of the products and everything, like what really drew me to it was that all the flavors of everything are ones that I've never seen before. And a lot of them are also very tropical, which if you guys know me, I like live for anything tropical. Oh my God. It smells like pineapple, but it smells like a specific pineapple candy. Oh my God. Pineapple high chews in Hawaii. Did you have some when you went? Yes. yes. Oh my God. My mouth is watering right now. Okay. Seriously? stoked about this. Oh, I also got this like reusable straw, which is great. Definitely gonna take that with me on the go. We got the BCAAs and Sour Gummy. I love their BCAAs. My favorite flavor are the Rocket Pop ones. These ones, again, are a flavor that I've never tried. All of these are like products that I love, but different flavors. This one was also sold out, but I love gummy worms, so I figured I'd love this. Rocket Pop tastes like a Rocket Pop, and I love taking BCAAs after I work out. It helps with hydration and muscle recovery and all those sorts of things that you need to help repair your body after working out. So, Got another reusable straw. These things are incredible. These are their energy drinks. I keep these in my fridge constantly. They're seriously the best. I love them because they're actually not nearly as carbonated as a lot of other energy drinks. If you guys know me, I don't like soda. I don't like any kind of thing like that, like super sparkly stuff because I just not really a fan and it kind of makes my stomach hurt. These are great because they're way less carbonated but they have just as much energy, if not more in them. And the flavors are bomb. This one's the sour peach drinks. This one's my favorite or the Rainbow Candy is another one of my favorites in this product and in the pre-workout. All right, last but not least, we have a couple of their supplements. We have here the Balance Supplement, and then this one is the Digestion. I have so many of them. Actually, you can see them all lined up over there that I love taking. These ones are by far my favorites. This one is the Balance. It's for hormonal imbalances, which I am the queen of. Helps improve your mood and then helps with your skin. And then these ones are just really good if you have a hard time digesting things, like if you have an upset stomach from a lot of stuff. I personally am somewhat lactose intolerant, so this is helpful kind of my stomach just kind of settle down a little bit. So yeah, that is all the stuff that I got recently from Alani New. I'm excited to try all the new flavors that I haven't tried before. Again, if you guys want to shop my link or use code Remy at checkout, it helps me out. No pressure. I just wanted to share this with you. So now we are going to head to Whole Foods and I am so excited, you guys. The other night, Friday night, I stayed in. I had a nice me night to myself and I basically just like cooked in my kitchen and came up with this incredible healthy pasta recipe, but it tastes not healthy. I am like 
like the biggest pasta fan. I think it's definitely like my top, one of my top, top, top favorite like unhealthy foods. Like fettuccine alfredo, cacio e pepe. Ooh, a good carbonara. I like the cream based ones a lot. I'm not a tomato sauce fan. But basically I really wanted like a creamy pasta, but I have a really big photo shoot in like a week and I have to really like be good about my eating. So I had some fun in the kitchen and made this amazing pasta recipe that is literally zero calories. Like the pasta itself is zero calories. And then everything I mix it with is very, very low calorie. I would say that it's probably under like 150 calories for the whole serving and it's like a big bowl of pasta. It is incredible. I will share the recipe with you guys. We have to go get the ingredients right now. We're gonna finish filming. I'm gonna put all this stuff away and I'll see you guys at Whole Foods to get the stuff. I am so excited to eat it tonight. You don't even know. Okay. Let's go! Cooking with Remy. Yay! <laughs> Hello all, we have arrived at Whole Foods. I'm so excited. We're also partially filming a main channel video right now. So Eli's got the big camera. All right, Whole Foods, here we go. You ready? We got the cart. It is so hot today too. It's like 100 degrees out. My goodness gracious, let's go. Always gotta get the strawberries. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I think I need some new lemons as well. I could go for some cherry tomatoes too. Also, I need new romaine. This is just also restocking my fridge. We got lettuce. I'm gonna go for some sweet baby lettuces, like sweet baby rays. Yo necesito dos cebollas. Did I say that right? Okay guys, for our pasta we need basil. You also need avocados, which I already have at home. Lemon juice, we need onions, we need garlic. We're just getting all the things. Ooh, green onions could be good too. Maybe I'll get some of those. You also need some garlic. I put like so much garlic in mine. Feel free to tone it down if you want, but I put mass amounts in mine. All right guys, we've reached the reason as to why we're at Whole Foods, the zero calorie thing that has changed my health game. <gasps> what? <laughs> Make a thumbnail. All right, guys. So we're in the Asian section at Whole Foods. Oh my God. These things, I feel like I've probably talked about them before. I get them a lot at like shabu shabu dinners, but it's miracle noodles. It's literally zero calories for the entire bag. Like they're all, I don't know how. I think it's made from seaweed. Whatever it is, it's so good. The other night, I think I got the angel hair one. It's like very noodle-like. I'm gonna stock up, you guys. I like actually you want to eat a bag every day. Good. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple angel hairs. They have a spinach one too that I definitely need to try. And then this is like a fettuccine noodle. They also have like a rice version. Oh, maybe I'll have some rice for lunch. You guys, it is seriously insane how good it is. All right, I'm getting lots of bags. <laughs> We're stocking up. We got dog treats. We got other stuff. We got some salmon for dinner. Got we got his bananas. He got he put bananas in the wrong person's cart, you guys. And then he wouldn't take them out because he was too embarrassed. And now I'm embarrassed for him. <laughs> You guys, I got a chocolate donut filled with hazelnut. Rem's like, try it on camera. So it's I like never... Nutella? Yeah. And I? And I. And I I've never tried this before, but it looks pretty Can bomb. Can I sniff it? Sometimes I just go buy cookies and sniff really hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> it smells like that good stuff. That good, good. Okay, so first impressions. I like the fluffiness of it. It's a little rough, but you can see how the dough is. You see how they filled it in. Got no filling, first one. Ooh, that's a sign of a bad donut. <laughs> but or a small. She mouth. thick, you know. It's a thick donut. Okay, let me try it. There, you're gonna get some. Yeah. Does it lack filling? Do it does lack filling. I would rate this probably like a six out of ten. It's not bad, that's, but I wouldn't go out of my bad. way that's for pretty, this. That's, that's a D minus, my dude. Oh shoot, yeah, it's bad. Okay, bye. <laughs> it's dark. Hey guys, okay, so we're back from Whole Foods. I thought I would do a little haul for you guys. I have some lunch cooking up in the back right now while I'm talking. I'm gonna let that go and then I'll show you guys after. But we got some things. First up, we got someone. Something exciting. Do you wanna see what it is? We got some Whole Paws grain free smoked chicken treats. <gasps> do you wanna treat? She's running over. Whoa, these are too big for you, girly. You're small. You is small, Bean. Okay, we got some new treats for her because she ran out of her other ones. I usually get them from Trader Joe's, but saw these, thought I'd give them a try. Next up, we got all of my noodles. As you guys saw earlier, the Miracle Noodles. We got the fettuccine, we got the rice, a couple bags of angel hair, which are my favorite as of so far, we will see. And then I got one more, I think, too. I don't know where it went, but okay, moving on. Organic blueberries, always love blueberries. I got PB2, which is powdered peanut butter. This stuff is so good. Good. I like to mix it up with water and eat it with apples or actually bought it for my recipe that I'm making behind me right now that I'll show you guys. You guys saw some cherry tomatoes, always get my strawberries, as well as a few lemons. I like using lemons for cooking and for lemon water. It is so good in like different recipes to add a little zing. Also good to speed up metabolism, blah, 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 blah. You guys saw 
We got lots of garlic for my pasta. I got the sweet baby lettuce. I got a big thing of basil for my sauce and just for cooking. I got some shredded carrots that I'm already using in my meal behind me. I got some diced onion. I got some baby bell and mushrooms that I also already chopped up and I'm cooking back behind there, so I threw them in here. I got some ground turkey as well that I'm cooking up right now, but I put the leftovers in my little Tupperware. All right, second bag. We got parts of romaine lettuce. We got some mini romaine heads, which is what I'm going to use for my lunch today. I've never eaten these, but they seem perfect for like little lettuce cups. I got some new stevia pourable vanilla syrup. I don't know, I thought I'd try this in like coffee or something in the morning, just some stevia. Oh yeah, I got the spinach noodles, I got green onions, and then I got some salmon. I'm gonna cook this up tonight. So that is my grocery haul. I wanna show you guys what I'm cooking up right now, and my mom is texting me if you can't hear that. Okay, so back here, basically, I forgot to get spray oil. That's something else that I needed, but it's okay. I just used water, which totally works too. If you just are a little bit more patient, water totally works with cooking. All right, so I did six ounces of lean ground turkey, and basically that was like uncooked, so then when it cooks down, actually it turns into about four. And I mix that in with some chopped onion, the shredded carrot, and then I chopped up some mushrooms as well, and threw that in there. Now we're gonna flavor this dude up. It's gonna be so good. Okay, I also just did like a meal prep kind of like this on my main channel that's coming out really soon. That was also really good. But in here, I'm gonna add in some of the garlic sauce as well as the PB2 and then also some black pepper. Here we go. We're gonna throw all this in there, mix it up, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Garlic sauce, a little bit of that, kick the heat up. A Little bit of PB2 in there, bomb, <laughs> and then some black pepper. You can also have like lime juice or lemon juice. Give her a mix. Ooh yeah, check that out. Mix it up nice and well. And then I'm gonna serve this in little lettuce cups, the ones that I showed you guys earlier, with some sriracha on top. She's good to go. You can also add like water chestnuts if you want like a crunch. It's basically like a stir fry kind of thing, but it's bomb. All right guys, so the little romaine head lettuce things that I showed you were moldy and rotten, so I threw them out. But we have normal romaine here. It's okay, I'm gonna use these as little boats. And then I just put the turkey in this little bowl thing that I got from West Elm from FabFitFun. It's so cute. Put her in there and then I've got my sriracha on top. I will show you how I'm going to assemble and do a taste test. The sun is about to start setting though, so it's a little bright, but that's okay. All right, here we go. We got a lettuce cup, which I washed and dried, and now I'm gonna like spoon this little mixture on top. It's a little hard to do this. Let me use two hands, there we go. I like to do it separately and like make the little boats once I sit down too for some reason, but you could like pre-serve them if you want. I take my tried and true little squiggle on top. Okay, here we go, cheers. Mm-hmm, mm, 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 mm. mm, mm. Kind of just remind me of like Thai lettuce cups from like Cheesecake Factory or something. All right, I'm gonna eat this and I have about an hour before I need to leave for Soul Cycle, so I'm going to let myself digest, drink my water, and then we're gonna head out. Okay. Hi guys, okay, I had my lunch, changed into some workout clothes to go take a spin class. Of course, I'm running late because I was dancing to Kim Petra's while mid-changing. Totally normal, totally fine, but I wanted to do a first impressions of the Alani New Aloha Pineapple with actually like mixed in with water and everything. All right, here we go. Wanted to get my real impressions. I'm not nervous, I feel like it's gonna be good. That's my new favorite. For sure. I'm trying to think, it kind of reminds me of like a Korean pineapple thing. I don't know what it is, I can't put my finger on it. It's like a pineapple Korean candy or a pineapple like Korean drink. I don't know, I'm gonna get to the bottom of it, but it's really good. I now need to call my manager and drive over to SoulCycle and take a class. I will see you guys when we are done. I'm gonna drink this and go. Okay, bye. Hi guys, okay, just finished class. My god, that was hard. I am sweaty. I'm gonna go home, make a snack, and I think we're gonna go do some arms at the gym just to get a little weight lifting in. That is my update. I'm also starting a new fitness challenge tomorrow for my main channel. I'm not ready. I'm very scared. Okay, let's go home, make a snack. My forehead looks so shiny. Oh my god. Hi guys, okay, I am home. I went and did arms for a bit, then I took Daisy for a nice long walk around the city, picked up some little like snacks for her over there. Now it's time for my snack time. I'm gonna make myself my dinner, which I am so excited to share with you guys. So, I already started cooking the fish in my air fryer. If you guys don't have an air fryer, I kid you not, it's changed my life. I use it like multiple times every single day for like lunch and dinner. It's so good. So yes, love that. 
but I'm also snacking on some dried mango here. Let me flip this around. I'm just going to show you guys what we're up to. All right, so I'm snacking on this mango here. I got it at Whole Foods. It's like the family pack. It was on sale. It's literally just mango. Where's the ingredients? It says ingredients. Where are you? I don't know. I read it, but it said ingredients, just mango. Here we go. Ingredients. Organic mango. Product of Mexico. So yeah, I have to portion it out for myself. Otherwise, I will eat the entire bag. So I put a little bit out, like one serving, and I'm just snacking on this while I cook my dinner because I always have to be eating something while cooking. I don't know why. Got my little wok or like a big pan going on like medium low heat just because I don't want to burn anything and I'm letting that get nice and hot. Again, salmon's cooking up in the air fryer. So things that we need to make our pasta. We've got cutting board and a knife. We need the garlic. I'm going to use, I literally use like six cloves, you guys. Like it's kind of insane just because I really like garlic. But if you don't like garlic, please feel free to omit. From the fridge, I need, look how stocked up she is. I'm going to use the mushrooms from earlier along with these dice up onions. I'm also going to use a quarter of an avocado. I have this one left. We'll see if it's still good. I also added in some arugula. That was really good, but you can do like a side salad or something if you want that, but I mixed mine in. The avocado makes it creamy, but also to add a little bit more creaminess, I'm going to use this vegan zesty garlic aioli. Pretty much it's like veganized, but I'm just going to use like a tiny bit, but it is so good. Oh, and some lemon juice. So I'm going to grab myself a lemon. Okay. I believe that is all. All right, let's get cooking. So move all you babies over here. Of course, I'm watching Maggie. Also, so my sweet assistant Sarah picked up my olive oil spray. Thank goodness. So I'm going to move this over here. I'm actually going to start with the onions just because a little olive oil spray in there. I always do onions first. Let's turn the light on. There she goes. Onions first because the garlic cooks so fast since it's so much smaller. Just going to get this going and sauteing. And then in the meantime now, I'll chop up my garlic and then I'll show you guys after. But we got a lot of onions just because I'm not kissing any boys tonight. Here we go. Chopped up a mass amount of garlic. Throwing that in. Ah. All right, I'm gonna crank up the heat a little bit now that the garlic and the onion are in there. Let those sweat down, and now I'm gonna chop up my mushrooms that are gonna go in as well. Sorry, there's a lot happening, but mushrooms going in after I chop them down. All right, guys, we're moving on to the pasta, the miracle noodles. I'm gonna pour them into my strainer here. And again, these are literally zero calories, zero everything. There's a good amount of not a good amount. There's a little bit of fiber in them, but that's literally all that's in there. It's just like a little bit of fiber. That's crazy. So now I'm going to wash them in some cold water. Just rinse them off. Oh, girl, we are loud tonight. You guys want to see air fried salmon? I kid you not. So good every time. You literally can't mess it up. It's the best. I really need to get an air fryer sponsorship at this point. Okay, I put my mushrooms in. I'm letting them cook up. Oops. My bad. It smells so good. Very aromatic in here. So I'm gonna let this go for like another couple minutes or so. The mushrooms still need like a little more time. My water is coming to a boil and I'm gonna throw the noodles from there into the water, let it cook for about two minutes or so and then rinse them again with cold water. In the meantime, we're gonna make our little creamy sauce and this is what gives it that like creamy almost like alfredo kind of feel but so good also i'm not a fan of cheese but to me this like reminds me of like a creamy cheese sauce i don't know i just threw it together but it's really good so i cut up a little bit of a lemon you're gonna need lemon avocado again i think i'm just gonna use this one up it seems pretty good all right guys we have about a little bit less than like a tablespoon of the aioli now i'm gonna put in the quarter of my avocado and mash it all up together all right mashed up the avocado now i'm gonna squeeze in this little a bit of a lemon actually a good amount of lemon into here the avocado makes it really creamy and adds a nice amount of healthy fats lemon really cuts that with like the citric acid I also threw the noodles into the pot they're sitting there for a couple minutes give this a good mix sorry it's so shadowy in here there we go now it's still shadowy then to season I'm gonna add some garlic powder and some black pepper I add a ton of black pepper to this I probably will add even more after I put it all together I just love black pepper and then a little garlic powder we got a lot of garlic going on so not too much but a little smidge of that give her a mix and then that's the sauce we're gonna mix in with our pasta but this is looking super good i think we're almost ready my noodles look like they're almost ready too i also forgot i'm going to chop up some basil to throw in as well and then i'm also going to mix in some arugula and then serve it all up together here we go noodles done noodles strained there we go cold water shock them a bit now with like the little bit of residual water on there too gonna shake it then throw it straight into this pan Ooh, give it all a good mix let it 
cook up together. The noodles tend to like stick together too, so you really wanna like break it up. I just realized I have my own cooking show. This is so fun. It takes a couple minutes, but you just like break the noodles up, get it all mixed around. This is probably not exciting for you to watch at all, sorry. And then while it's still hot, I'm gonna add the arugula in so it starts to wilt down a bit. And I like to add in a lot of arugula since this is kind of like my side salad almost going inside of the pasta. And I'm gonna let that cook down a bit. All right guys, I chopped up a ton of basil and threw it in there as well with the whole pasta pasta mixture. And now that I removed it from the heat and everything is wilted, I'm gonna throw in my sauce and then mix it all up and it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna plate it up on a plate with my salmon on top with a little lemon. I'll show you after. I wish I had red chili flakes too, but they're actually on my office right now. That was a really weird sentence to say. So we're gonna go without the chili flakes, but it would be so good with it together. Okay, so I'm gonna mix it all and I'll show you guys when she's plated. All right, guys, dinner is done. I've got my pasta underneath my eight ounces of salmon. I have extra lemon on the side to squeeze on top of my fish, and that is my new recipe that I came up with. It is seriously so good. Oh, I also put cayenne pepper on top since I didn't have chili flakes, but so good. If you try it, please send me pictures. Let me know. I've got my water. I'm gonna watch some YouTube and uh, eat my dinner. I'm so excited. This is my favorite time of day. Hello all, we are now in my bathroom. I recently redid it in here and I love how it turned out. We've got some cute pictures of Pat and Ollie and I. I also broke my nail tonight, but I'm gonna fix it tomorrow. We've got these shelves that I put some perfume on. A Miss Daisy May. Hello, did you enjoy your walk? You need a bath too, girly. And then I filled up my two giant glass containers over here with all of my bath bombs. Got some cute like pictures up here. Here, most of which is from Urban Outfitters and Home Goods. Super cute. Okay, so choosing the bath bomb for tonight, I think I'm gonna go with, ooh, I think I like this one. Should we let her go? After replenishing my stock last night, I'm very excited. All right, here we go, ready? Three, two, one. Oh! Ooh, it's pretty. It's like all my favorite colors. Okay, I'm gonna take my bath, enjoy myself, and I'll see you guys after. Very excited. She's so cute. Hello all, it's the next morning. Perla's here bright and early. My favorite, I texted her last night after I broke my nail. I was like, SOS, we broke a nail. So she came over this morning, we're fixing it. Very excited, I'll show you guys what you saw. This broken one, I think we're gonna do the same shape, but blue, I think, with the glitter. I love this glitter. I'll keep you updated though, but I just got out of the shower. My hair is wet. Mm-hmm. We're watching What a Girl Wants to, the best movie ever. Hi guys! So. Update on the nails. I ended up not going with the blue. I also did my own like spray tan or like self tanner last night, so I look very, very dark right now, but I really did like it. It was from a new one that I got from a PR package. I'm gonna try it out like a couple more times, and if it goes well, I will recommend it to you. Mm, 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 mm. I'm like the girl from Booksmart. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, you didn't watch it yet. It was so good. Okay. Nail update, I did not go with the light blue. I ended up going with neon coral just because I'm really into the neons right now. Well, it's the next Hi. day, look who's here. <laughs> we have so much stuff to get done. We just finished actually half of the video that we started yesterday and we got it done in like half the time we did yes yesterday. We were really just like <laughs> messing around the whole time. But now we just finished that bit and I am about to change into a bikini. If you guys, I don't think I showed you guys on here, but I definitely showed my Instagram stories. My favorite brand ever called Kulani Kini sent me so many bikinis. I'm gonna do a whole video for you guys. I think I'm gonna do a whole bikini collection on my main channel in the next couple weeks, but I'm picking out one right now to wear for another video that we're starting today. We're simultaneously filming three videos today, so we got a lot going on, but just wanted to come on and end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys try any of the cooking with Remy's, please let me know. I would love to see pictures, and if you guys have any other inspo, or if you guys like this and you wanna see more, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!